Okay. Yeah. So if you uh, come to this link, I mean, if you go to your salesforce.com and then go to products and go to additions and pricing, you will find that they have listed all their products. So you see there is one edition which is called contact manager and uh, it is priced at $5 per user per month, right? But it does not allow you to store a lot of information. It just gives you the option of storing accounts and contacts and all these things, right? And then there's a group edition which is $25 per user per month. So all the pricing is at per user per month. So based on the number of users. And there is a... <coughs> Sorry. There is a limitation of how many users you can have for these first two editions. You can maximum have five users for the contact manager and group edition. Then there is a professional edition. Here you can have, you do not have any limitation of how many users can you, uh, you can have. But you definitely have to pay for every additional user, $65, right? Then we have enterprise edition and then we have performance edition. So it's like $5, $25, $65, $125, dollars So that is our course, right? Sorry? User means every license is a user. So, for example, uh, there's a company and in that company, uh, we three of us want to use Salesforce. We need to use Salesforce. Um, Sobojit, uh, Kiran and G. Right? So, if we three of us, so for us, we, they have to buy three user licenses. So, they'll have to pay, if we take professional edition, they'll have to pay 65 into 3. Okay? So, one user will give you one login ID password. Per user, $65. Right. And $5 is per user. Yes. All these amounts are per user. Right. So a contact manager edition basically allows us only to store, you know, track accounts and contacts. Group edition allows us all the features of contact manager plus it also allows us to track opportunities. Professional edition starts, you know, uh, allowing us small customizations. Enterprise Edition allows us full featured customization, workflows, approvals, everything. Performance Edition starts, you know, providing us unlimited number of customization and everything, right? So you will understand which, what all things are there under which edition gradually as you learn, you know, more in the course, you start doing things, you will be able to figure out which all things are allowed under which edition and all, right? So apart from these licenses, there are platform licenses. So this is a software as a service license, SaaS license. If you click on the platform, it will also show you the option of platform licenses. So platform licenses are uh, priced a little lower. Like for a platform, you can build an enterprise app only for $25 per user per month. So for a SaaS, for a software as a service, it was enterprise app is $125 whereas for a platform it's $25 so in platform edition it provides you only the platform to develop the applications right so you have to develop your own application no no you don't have to so uh, with uh, this platform edition also you get the data storage space just that the software you are developing on your own, but that is connected to the backend database, which is uh, there the server only. We don't need to pay money for that. We pay for that. We get the benefit of that. see what is happening. Infrastructure anyhow you need. Hardware space we need anyhow, so that is common. You have a choice between SaaS and PaaS. If you go for SaaS for enterprise application, you will pay one twenty-five dollars. If you go for PaaS, then for enterprise edition, you will just pay twenty-five dollars. The point is, in PaaS, they I mean, uh, for the platform, they just you are providing the platform, and you will have to spend uh, to develop the application by paying to the developer. Of a developer. Yeah, you will have to pay to the developer. Yeah, the application will be developed on that platform. No, on that their platform. Right, and you don't need to do anything there. Like if you go to facebook.com, does it allow you to develop application? No, it just allows you to use it. Can you go and change Facebook things? No, you cannot. So the same way. Uh, SaaS is where they will charge you $125, but they will give you a ready-made thing. PaaS is they will charge you $25, but they will not develop it for you. 
you go and develop and we just use it right but this any application that you are designing on the platform that is also connected to the infrastructure so for the data storage you do not have to worry whether you are using this one or this one so Ajit is that clear yeah, I have a question here. So, PaaS and uh, uh, PaaS that we will be using. Um, uh, yeah, tell me. Sorry. Uh, so, PaaS and PaaS that we will be using for our um, for our training purpose, right? So, uh, what what limitation does it have compared to uh, the full blown version where they are charging us um, one twenty five dollars and you know these amounts. So, so what are the limitations? Uh, let's say the developer edition or the uh, 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 the post dot com or the developer edition that we will use, um, you know, during our training. What will be the limitation? Can you? Um, no, you are you are talking about limitation of the developer edition, or you are talking about the limitation of enterprise edition? Uh, no, 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 no. So. So the the developer yeah so the developer edition versus enterprise edition correct yeah, yeah so developer edition ha ha okay fine sorry, sorry. yeah uh, I'll just come to that part I mean uh, I've just taken that question I'll just uh, come to that point but before that I'll just talk about developer edition first and then I'll answer this thing right okay yeah uh, you had a question. Server space, so they have to give. So there is no other, uh, you know, choice. But application, you want to use their design application, pay one twenty-five dollars. You want to use uh, your design application, you pay uh, twenty-five dollars. Right. So that is it. Think of it as a restaurant. So restaurant, uh, you went in the restaurant. Uh, so uh, space, so they are giving you. They give you two options that okay either we will cook the food and give it to you or it will allow you to go to our kitchen and cook it. So that thing. So server space so they have to give. So that is there. Okay. So apart from all these additions, there is one more addition which is not listed here. You don't see that addition here, which is called a developer edition. So you see contact manager, group, professional enterprise performance, and there is one more edition which is not listed here, which is called a developer edition. Okay. Why they have not mentioned it there? Because developer edition is free of cost. Okay, it's free of cost and it's uh, basically meant for uh, people like uh, you to learn it. Uh, so for learning purpose and all, we can use developer edition. And because there is no price which is attached to that, so that is the reason why they have not mentioned any pricing there, or they have not mentioned that on the pricing. Uh, what is the chart? Right. So the question that uh, Subhajit was asking is, what is the difference between developer edition and enterprise edition? So developer edition basically has most of the features of an enterprise edition. Let us understand this. Developer edition has most of the features uh, like an enterprise edition, but it has certain limitations. So one limitation is developer edition can maximum have two users. On a developer edition, you can have only two users okay two functional users I mean, uh, who can uh, you know develop and modify and customize so there is a limitation on number on number of users that you can have there second there is a limitation on the uh, data storage capacity you can only store up to 5 MB of data in a developer edition so 5 MB is very less it's like uh, 150 or 200 records 100 150 records you can store so what they have done they have designed a developer edition but they have put the limitation on the number of uh, on, on the storage capacity right so no one can use it as an enterprise edition though you are getting it for free but you cannot use it for your professional use you can just use it for learning you know, uh, put some dummy records, 20, 30 dummy records and work around on that and learn it. That's it. Uh, Suj, does that answer your question? Yeah, so feature wise we have everything, right? The developer, it's so uh, a few and features, users. a few features are not there, but uh, those are not the common features. Most of them are there. 
like 95% of the features are there some of uh, the features are not there on the developer edition like you cannot have a multi currency kind of thing and all uh, which they enable uh, if you request you know, on enterprise edition but uh, on developer edition you do not have that so few features so very few one, sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry, so very few features you know uh, let's say you know four or five percent of features are not there but almost all the features are there uh, in developer edition just that they have uh, put a restriction on the uh, storage capacity okay but can we can we have this all set up like if i have a database can i connect with um i mean can i build a database and then um uh, have the data fetched in this application i mean those all things can be set up right so there is no limitation as such where you cannot create your own data model and no no um, no limit like that okay, okay. okay. right okay. there is no such limitation on a developer edition and in fact we will do all those things here i mean in our so, sessions we will design the application we'll design the data model we'll design the objects everything we'll do right so okay. and you guys have your developer edition and you guys will do it on your own things right okay okay Thanks. so now once we have understood the addition now time for us to get into creating an addition of our own or creating a login for us so suvaji do you have a login on salesforce yeah i do i do have a login. developer edition yes okay kiran you have a login okay so let's go and create uh, one go to salesforce.com i'm making you the presenter You're making me a presenter? No, no, I'm making Kiran as a presenter. Uh, oh, okay. So she's just going to create her own login. Go to developer.force.com. Huh? Developer.force.com. Yes. Yeah, click on join now, and then you just have to uh, you know provide your uh, login information. Yeah, same thing can be there in the username as well. 